Howdy there. This is Natasha Gates. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm dressed up for the ranch. You know, I got my Texas shirt on, got my ranch clothes on, ready to go. So I bought a pair of dingo boots and I bought them on 6pm.com. I used to buy so many shoes from 6pm.com because I like the way that you can search for the shoes and you can search by percentage off as where I think Zappos doesn't have that uh, option. So they're discounted boots that basically have been returned to too many times. So, I wanted to buy a pair of Dingo boots. Why? Because they've been around for a very long time. So, for like 53 years, since 1969, people have been wearing these boots. And I remember my mom wearing Dingo boots, and that's in like the 1980s. So, I'm like, let's see what their quality is like today. So, that would be like... These are probably from like maybe 2021, I'm guessing, um, because they were on clearance. And right now it is January, 2023. So I wanted to kind of like see what's going on with Dingo. I remember them when I was a little kid and I remember that everybody had like Dingo boots. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to like just order them just to like do a review about them and to like kind of compare them to the quality of Freebird because I am not impressed with Freebird right now because of the way that they have like really taken away the quality um, and that can be explained with my review on the uh, the black boot not the coal boot but the other video um, I'll think of what it is in a little bit, but so this style boot is the Tahoe boot in black and it is a seven and a half. I don't wear a seven and a half, so I'm going to put these on eBay to sell because they were a final markdown. I can't return them. Um, so let's start looking at this boot. It's gorgeous. I love fringe. I really do. I wish they fit me. Um, this leather here is very, very smooth and very expensive feeling. I love the studding detail. I love it. It's very, very sexy. Um, I don't like these. I don't know what they're called but I wish that these were not on there. The hardware is very, very cheap um, here, and I don't like that. I think they could have uh, put some different kinds of uh, material on there, like something a little bit heavier. But really, this is high quality suede. It's not like a Napa leather, um, and this leather is is not like the best best premium leather but it's it's really nice and and expensive looking um so I was zipping it down into the shaft area i'm not so crazy about the lining but at least it has a lining uh the name of the boot for the freebird review that I did was Cassius and they refused to even put a lining on their shaft and they like stopped using the leather in the footbed like to about the ankle length they left this raw it's like and then they they charged $395 for the boot so it was really really disappointing but this boot has a nice lining in it it's very comfortable and in the Material is very silky. Um, the top part of the shaft is lined in leather, which is softer, but not premium. 
Uh, the stitching is not impressive at all. I know the lighting in here is, is not very good, but the stitching in here is not impressive. Um, but at least they have a lining and Freebird did not uh, put one in there. The tag says Dingo. Uh, this is number D1547 in black leather upper balance man-made made material and made in india so free birds are made in mexico and dingo is made in india i don't know so i tried these on and the good thing about them is that they have really good arch support i felt like my arches of my feet were very well supported um the con is that this toe is like a square toe, and I don't like that. But the 7.5 can fit me if I put insoles in because it's kind of like a pointed toe. If you like that, then that's great for you, not great for me. Um, what else can I say about it? I mean, the detailing is okay um, from 1 to 10. I would give the detailing for the price probably about a seven maybe seven and a half for the price again <laughs> um the price of the boot was 130 dollars so that was on sale so i think originally it was like 235 dollars so i wouldn't have paid 235 dollars for um the craftsmanship that's here. I'm going to take the phone and I'm going to show you what I mean. So there's no way I would spend $250 on a pair of boots that has stitching that's not up to par, not up to my standards. Um, so we have like another flaw here. Let's see. There's a lot of flaws in the stitching. It's like they, they just kind of wanted to hurry up and, and go home. <laughs> um, and then on the inside, it's it's kind of the same thing. It's not, it's not a premium boot. You're not going to get that really amazing stitching that you get with, you know, boots that are priced 500 and up. You're just not. Um, like I said, I love the little... Uh, studs. I think that gives it a really edgy, edgy look, and I like that. The suede is okay. Like I said, this is this is made out of nickel, and it's very flimsy. You can even hear that. It probably costs about maybe a half a penny to make, so that's not impressive. The zipper. Let's put this camera back over here. The zipper goes up and down quite nicely. It does have a nice uh, leather pull with some, some detailing on it, but again, I'll show you that the stitching is not, not amazing. I mean, they couldn't even match the other side properly. Uh, if you know what I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, level, <laughs> whatever. So, um, the back of the boot is very sexy. You have a real wood stacked leather, uh, heel, like a block heel, and the only thing bad that I was really disappointed with the sole of this boot is that I thought this was going to be like a grippy leather or not a grippy leather, a gripper, a grippy rubber. And no, not that kind of rubber, rubber. And I put them on and I almost fell on my ass in my kitchen. So these are very slippery. There's like hardly any traction here. Yes, that little mark is from my kitchen. It's a piece of dough, if you're wondering. It's not nothing weird or creepy. 
So you can hear that this is a hard plastic and that is not gonna save your ass in your kitchen. I was slipping all over the place and maybe that's why this this got discontinued. Um, there is a pair in brown on eBay right now for sale. I really don't want to give these up and maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll just put a pair of insoles in them and I'll see how much I can get for them on eBay. But if I can't get any buyers, then I'm probably just going to keep it. But overall, for Dingo, I mean, I think the quality has obviously go, gone down quite a bit since, you know, like I've seen them in the in the 90s shopping, you know, there's no leather smell um, like you get with premium boots. It smells more of like a chemical. Um, here's the tag that's on it. My nose is running, so that means that there's something in this this uh boot that has a chemical in it that's making me really really oh like here it says it says warning right here <laughs> it says warning this product can expose you to the chemicals including lead which is known to the state of california to cause cancer birth defects or reproductive harm and butyl benzyl I can't even pronounce that. It's P H T H A L A T E B P P B B P, which is known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. So while my nose is running, I'm just like, what the fuck did they put on this boot? <laughs> I'm very, very sensitive to smells, odors, chemicals, and everything. And my nose is just wildly freaking uh, running right now. So here's the dingo boot. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, There's something about fringe that is so sexy. I just, I just love fringe. And I, and I, I love fringe on purses and I love fringe on clothing. But if you wear it like in a way that's super tacky, it can get really weird looking. Like the Tiger King, whatever that guy is on Netflix. Um, but if you wear it right, you could uh, really make a statement. So I really think that if you want a middle of the road pair of boots that's probably going to last you a few years if you wear them all the time and you don't plan on having the same boots forever and you're like, you know what, I just want something to, to wear for now, these are going to be those boots for you. You know, they're, they're not going to last forever. Um, the stitching is probably going to bust on you. Um, but I think I have mixed thoughts about the soles. I think with flex and lots of wear, these look like glued on soles. So they might, they might separate in time. So for this boot, the Tahoe boot from Dingo from one to 10 to review this boot and give it a number. This cowgirl is gonna give these boots a 4.5 out of 10. And that's because I have really high expectations for my boots. And I also don't wanna fall on my ass if I'm not even outside in the snow or ice. So these boots don't get a big yeehaw from me. I hope that helped you with your purchase. If you find these on a discount store, on eBay, or if someone is like talking about dingo boots, you kind of have 
a, a good comprehensive view on what to expect as far as quality. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with another review soon.